Hey everybody, Miss Dietrich here. Question number 11 reads, the pair of shoes that Andre bought was $15 less, $15 less than double the price of the pair of pants that he bought. The price of the pair of, of pants was P dollars. What was the price of both items? Now, first of all, let's just think about what would we do if we knew the price of both and we needed the total cost, right? What's the cost of both items? Wouldn't we be adding these two things? We, we would take the, whatever the shoes is, we'd take the pants, and we'd add it together, and then that would be the total, right? Well, we don't really have an actual number. We have to come up with an algebraic expression to plug into both of these things. So let's just think about what 15 less looks like all by itself, because the shoes, the pair of shoes that he bought was $15 less than double the price of the pair of pants. Now, they want us to use this for pants. So if we double the price of the pair of pants, isn't that going to be 2 times P? And if we're going to take 15 less than that, aren't we subtracting 15 from that? All right, so that's just the price. That's for the shoes. Let's move it up here. Actually, this box is too small, so let's move that out of the way. That's the shoes. And the pants is going to be whatever they are, right, which is just going to be P. Now let's look through the choices and see which letter choice matches that. So here we have the 2p plus 15, so that checks. But here it's not add, it's subtract. So for this reason, we're going to reject that. Here we have the 2p minus 15, there it is, plus p. So that's a contender. Here we have p plus 15 minus 2p. That's off the list. And here we're looking at p minus 15 minus 2p. So that's definitely not right because we're subtracting. All right, so it looks like we're going with choice B for number 11.